but actually it was a school bus and his children were boarding her. <laughs> I think that's funny. You laughed. <laughs> well, see, I didn't even laugh when they were about you. Well, I probably wouldn't have laughed if they'd been about you. Mm. I laughed because they were about me, and it was my way of being on the defensive, I guess. Mm -hmm. And like, I'll be damned if you're going to hurt me. So up yours. You're not hurting me. I'm not going to let you see you're hurting me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let you know that you're killing me. So I would after laughing and if there were people around uh i'd go straight for the potato salad mm. another piece of chicken so even the jokes and people saying you know the jokes would egg me on yeah to eat even more sure mm -hmm. i read that you ran into joan rivers recently and she said uh now this was the quote you never know if what you read is true. The quote was, she said, Liz, um, or Elizabeth, I just want you to think about why I said those things. That's true. Is that true? Mm -hmm. And she took your hand and you did what? Well, she took my hand first and said, Elizabeth, I want you to know why I said and made all those jokes about. Was this the first time you'd seen her since all it's of the first this? time we'd really met. Oh, really? And we co-hosted a dinner together mm -hmm. for uh, abused children. Mm -hmm. And we sat at the same table, very cordial. Uh, not terribly chatty, but very cordial. What did you think when and you first saw her, though? You, you saw her? In person. Mm -hmm. And you realized... I was, I was wondering, uh, we were sitting next to each other, I was wondering what she would say, if anything. Uh, I wondered if she was a little nervous or whether she'd bring it up or then I, I just thought well we're here to help raise money for abused children mm -hmm. we're not here about us although the reason people came was to see us together mm -hmm. uh, i'm sure people were hoping for some kind of blow up mm -hmm. but um, unfortunately for them nothing like that happened we were very civil cordial and she said elizabeth anyway, you look as wonderful we were leaving uh is when she said i want you to while holding my hand, I want you to think why I said all those things. And I said, okay, I will. I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll think about it. And she sort of still had a hold of my hand. But being a virgin, creating these adult illusions on the air, having to go to school, coming into your own full flower. I'm surprised you survived any of it. Don't, when you look back on that, isn't that, wasn't that a, um, nobody meant it to be cruel, but it had to be. You wouldn't do this to It was uh, very confusing for me. And I think that's the, the reason I married so early, was to get away from all the supervision, to find out what life was about for myself and begin living it for myself. And I thought the only, respectable way I could do it was by, by getting married. And many girls my age to marry at 18. I've I thought I was in love, too. It was sort of a Prince Charming um, sort of storybook romance. Right. And just when you get to, just when I thought I figured you out, normally a person who is this sheltered and uses marriage to get out of the house, you're not the first woman to do that. Ah. Uh, at the same time, you were telling Louis B. Mayer to go to hell. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that kind of fire? What a smart... I guess I, I, guess I was uh, just born with that. I was always a rebel. And it really didn't matter to me. I wasn't that ambitious. It didn't matter to me whether I had a career or not. What did matter to me was my own personal integrity and my own sense of identity. It's always been very important to me. I think that's why, as a child, I would go riding instead of playing with uh, my peers. And, like, I really didn't have kids my own age as friends. Well, you're not unlike them, a lot of uh, child stars, in that you're, uh, you had, I guess you'd have to say, no, no childhood. 
But you seem to survive this better than a lot of others. I think I enjoyed it. Uh, I loved writing. I loved being introspective. I, I loved the fantasy world that I was thrown into. And I could separate it from reality. And I think I was very lucky in, the, in my parents reminding me of that all the time, you know, that one world was real and the other was fantasy. Like when it, it, somebody would pay me a compliment. Uh, if somebody would say, oh my God, you have such beautiful eyes, my mother would say, Elizabeth, remember, always remember, it's the expression in your eyes, not your eyes, they're just eyes. It's the expression, what you're feeling. But you were blocking your real self, weren't you? I mean, I don't see how you can really get in touch with your feelings, to use that old expression when you're surrounded by males who want to put you in the proper light and change your face and your hair and... Uh, That's probably why... <laughs> What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Because it's, it's hard to hide these eyes. But uh, even if I wore dark glasses, maybe it's the chins. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. You know... I did, a, I did a sketch here one time with a look-alike, um, and that's why I was looking for a transition into the eyes. I um, saw that. Now, God, do, that was funny. <laughs> well, okay, thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the reasons I'm here tonight. I loved it. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you, um... That's great. I was nervous about that. Are you kidding? Yeah, I was nervous about that, because a lot of people hate those look-alikes. Well, I thought... God, that guy has chutzpah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was terrific. You made me feel very wanted. I thought if you went to that extreme, mm -hmm. you really must want me on the show. Yeah, because we kidnapped a Liz Taylor lookalike from a mall, tied her up and brought her here, you know? And I was hoping she'd find it funny, you know? Because it's got Liz Taylor lookalike. <laughs> glasses falling off and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so how is marriage this one? I, it's great. Really? Yeah. You love him? Yeah, of course I do. What about him do you love the most? What's special about this guy, Larry? Oh, listen to him. <laughs> I want to know. I mean, because of course, this guy... Mine. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of men in the world who are probably wondering the same thing. Liz Taylor went after this guy, Larry. What does Larry have? It's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> Okay, I'll move on. <laughs> Can I meet him after the show? You should play your cards right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I like Liz. <laughs> Talk about chutzpah. Yes. Have, have you seen the remake of Father of the Bride? No, I haven't. And it's not that I have anything against it. I hear it's a wonderful film, but... Uh, Spencer Tracy and I had a very special relationship. And wherever I was, at whatever point in my life, in the world, in my life, he would send messages to me, and it was always to Kitten from Pops. And until the day he died, it was Kitten and Pops. Happy moments, sad moments. And for some reason, I just can't go and see somebody else being Kitten and Pops. Mm. It would somehow, like, I don't know, it would be painful, I think, because it was a very special relationship. That's a very good point. Do you go see movies a lot? Oh, yeah. What have you seen recently? Uh, oh, Lord, ask me what I haven't seen. Oh, have you seen, have you seen uh, White Men Can't Jump? 